today we're going to do a little story time about how I cheated. Before we start today's video, I just want to make sure I tell all of you guys to like, comment, share, subscribe, but most importantly, subscribe. But also, if you really want to help out this channel, hit that like button. Make sure you leave a comment for me. Let me know that you're watching the videos or if you're liking the content. Even if you're hating it, if you want to drill me, go ahead, drill me in the comments. I don't care. But yeah. <laughs> What's up you guys? So, we're back with another freaking video! So, I hope you guys are doing good today. Um, as you can see here, we're doing an American Chinese mukbang. I have some sweet and sour chicken here, crab ragoon. I got some broccoli in the brown sauce, um, some plain lo mein, and then I got the sweet and sour sauce here for the chicken and the crab ragoon. So you guys, without further ado, we gonna get it in. I'm hungry. I haven't ate since breakfast. Just got out of work not too long ago. Seeing the cows and stuff. First bite. Yeah, what's up? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I needed this in my life, y'all. Mm. For those of you who don't know, my name is JJ and I go by JJ and be eating. And I also don't eat broccoli, broccoli pieces. pieces. The stem, mm -hmm. okay? I eat the flower part on the top, I'm not eating the stem. Mm -mm. Oh, y'all. Yeah. I needed this. Mm. Playing on that. Mm. Mm. It's hard to get this lo mein out, and you know, I mean, I'm not complaining, they just pack it so much when you first get it. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. Y'all, yeah. it was between this or Popeyes, and me and Kenzie. We were texting about dinner and she said, what do you want to do? I said, it's pot pie or Chinese and she chose Chinese, so. And my, it's hitting right now. I'm hungry. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This one made it back. Mm. Mm. Today we're going to do a little story time about how I cheated. That <sighs> blue Hawaiian punch. I'm extremely thirsty. Ooh. I had to stop myself, but um, so, y'all are probably thinking, I've cheated in my relationship, but I'm not talking about that. Y'all yeah, want me to fail? Not gonna happen. <clears throat> huh. Okay. So in tenth grade, yeah, tenth grade, in one of the high schools. Oh, just up the spoon. Tenth grade, one of the high schools that I went to. Um. I actually, <laughs> first of all, I had a crush on the teacher, my 10th grade come teacher. Crazy part is, I still remember her name. I'm not going to say it though. But, um, so, this teacher, I had a crush on whatever. I really liked the class. I was cool with a lot of people in the class, you know. <clears throat> um, and it was towards the end of the school year, obviously, because we're taking finals, and I'm not a person like, I can study, I can get good grades, like, I can do the bare minimum and still get a good grade. But, um, your boy in chemistry, <laughs> no man, so, 
one day as we're in class, we're all goofing around. Um, I don't know if we had a substitute that day or if the teacher just wasn't paying attention or what. But I ended up getting the answer sheet to the final exam. My chemistry final exam, okay? I got it off of the printer in the room. So she had a printer in the room. I took it off the printer, took pictures of it, I ended up sending it to everyone that had that chemistry class. Everyone in the school in that chemistry class got the, the answer sheet. Now, I forewarned them and I said, y'all yeah, better not get every single one of these right. Because it's almost suspicious if we all get them right and we all just been doing the bare minimum all year. Me personally, I go big or go home. So, I had the 80 in the class. Mind you, <laughs> I didn't even tell you, this is also the same class that I <clears throat> changed my grade in. So, the teacher, she either, <laughs> I don't know, I don't know how she, I, got, I got into her grade book, but this teacher used to let me get away with too much, clearly, as y'all can see. I, I get in real good with teachers, and then after that, I kind of coast by. But, um, anyways. She um, left the grade book open and I changed a couple of my grades so that way I'd be at 80%. I think I went a little higher. I think I made it to like an 83. That way it wasn't too noticeable because I think I either had a 78 or 79 in that class because like I said, I was doing the bare minimum. Um, but yeah, anyways, back to the story. So yeah, I um, took... <laughs> I took the answer sheet off the printer, took pictures, sent to everybody and I got every single answer right except one or two and <laughs> it's funny because you know everybody has that really smart kid in class that one smart kid so we're comparing final exam grades and of course i only got like two wrong and i think he got like maybe four or five <laughs> and he was so talked he was like wow you only got two wrong <laughs> he was so shocked and I was like, yeah, I studied hard. Really hard. Wow. <laughs> yeah, you yeah, but I don't think I've ever told anyone besides close friends that story. Clearly, um, I got away with too much. Anyone who's watching me that's a teacher, um, watch your students. Watch your students because they are even craftier these days than I wasn't. I wasn't even crafty. We just had to distract the teacher for a couple minutes to get that, so... Mm. Yeah, but yeah, you guys. Yeah, it's so crazy. Um, and then for those of you that don't know, I change high schools every year. So like, all those people that I met, um, I don't even really talk to them anymore. But one of the best experiences of my life at high school. It was cool. But yeah, most people don't know that. Um, I am very smart though. Don't get it twisted. Like, I can make our high school. I didn't go below a uh, 3.4, 3.2, something like that. Um, I'm one of those people, I believe that everyone's smart. It's just how much you're willing to put into your learning, you know? But everyone thinks that I'm so smart, and it's not that I'm smart or that, like, I retain information better than anyone. I'm just willing... To go the extra step to do the research so I can know that I'm telling the right things. You know? Most people though take stuff at face value and run with it. Me, I gotta fact check. I gotta know for myself before I go around and tell anybody else. Excuse me. Some false information. So, I'm an advocate. Every person smart. It's just how determined you are. You know? But academics, academics aren't hard. Academics is just memory retention, consistency, and doing your assignments. That's all it is. And, like, that's where a lot of people are just, like, it's too much, you know? But don't misconstrue what I'm saying. I'm an advocate for education. Mm, I need a drink. Mm, this is blue, blue Hawaiian punch, y'all. Blue, green, or the lemon berry squeeze. Anything else, you're nasty. Argue with your mama, not me.
Mm. Y'all, y'all know how you wait too long to eat and then you start getting full too fast? That's me. I'm also one of those people that could just drink juice all day and be just fine. Like after I don't eat for so long, I don't even want food no more. But I think that's everybody, but I can't speak for everybody because I'm not everybody. Mm. We have a groom. It's boxing. Mm, the brown sauce. Mmm. Oh, um, how do you guys like new backdrop? <laughs> Not the, the, the different. Mm. Yeah, best believe, even if I do don't eat everything during these mukbangs, this is getting saved. I'm gonna eat this later. Are you crazy? I don't really eat leftovers like that, but Chinese is one of those leftovers I will eat. Oh yes, 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 yes. Whew. Mm. Um. Whew. I have an exciting video coming out for you guys real soon. Kenzie and I are gonna do a challenge. Not gonna tell y'all what it is, but if y'all have any challenges y'all wanna see me and Kenzie do on my channel, please comment down below. Let me know. I'm only open for challenge, and I'm not talking specifically food challenge because you guys know I don't really do the mook bombs too much anymore. But if you guys have any like couples challenge or anything like that that you wanna see, because I think that's more the direction my channel's heading in. But um, yeah, well, I don't know. I don't know, I said my channel's gonna be a whole bunch of different things. God damn it, y'all gonna get what y'all get. Either like my content or don't. I feel barbaric. I feel like one, that one of them people in the meme that just take a bite of Kit Kat, that's what I just felt like. Oh, I didn't even tell you guys. <laughs> so... For those of you who don't know, I'm predominantly listening to hip hop, like and rap, you know. <clears throat> but lately, because I do home care, so lately my client's house that I go to, he only listens to country, and um, I'm not gonna say all country, but I can rock with some of it. A couple, of them, like um, that one song "Chasing You" by Morgan something. That my jam. I listen to that song every single day. Yeah, buddy. Mm. Mm. And mind you guys, these are two separate meals. So, I'm not eating two home meals right now, I'm sorry. Got my sweet and sour, got my noodles, got my broccoli, Got an egg roll. I don't even eat egg rolls. I actually I bite, I bite, I bite, and then I take all the cabin out because mm -mm, I don't want the pork, the cabin, none of that. But did you guys? I mean, see, this is why I don't really like doing mukbang because it's so boring when you're by yourself, you know? Like, it's fun when you have people with you, but it's just by yourself, you know? Even though, I mean, sometimes. You got stuff to talk about, but my audience probably done been left. If you're still watching this, you're a real one. If you're still watching this, comment a broccoli and a Chinese takeout container in it down in the comments right now. So I know you're a real one. Whew. Mm. I ain't even gonna lie, y'all. I'm pretty full already. I'm about to drink some more water. Cause I have another cup of juice over here, but I'm trying to increase my water intake. Not that I don't drink, 
I mean, I drink water, don't get me wrong, but I'm trying to, in, like I said, increase my water intake, so. Y'all, that's probably another reason why I get full so fast, like. But yeah, you guys, I think that's going to wrap up this mukbang. Be on the lookout for that um, challenge coming up with Kenzie. Um, we're going to be recording that very soon. I really think you guys are going to like that. Like I said, if you guys have any other challenges that you would like to see from us, please go ahead and comment them down below. And I'm not talking about food challenges. I'm talking about couples challenges that you guys see on YouTube or any prank. If you have any pranks that you want to send me, go over to Instagram. Follow my Insta, OBOJ Chen. It's also in the description box below. Go to my Insta, DM me. And tell me some prank ideas because clearly if you guys put it in the comment section, Ken's going to see him. So go on my Insta, follow me while you're there, and then send me a DM of some pranks that you guys want to see because I don't want Ken see, to see them in the comment section, okay? But, yeah, you guys, I think that's going to be it. So, yeah, I know how the outro goes. Until next time, you guys, make sure you tell a friend to tell a friend because my next subscriber could be on your social media. Until next time, you guys, peace.